everybody, Chris here. Hey, uh, one of the things I've been uh, getting into a little bit lately is uh, railway defect detectors. Obviously, most of you probably know I work uh, for the railroad, at least one of them, the commuter railroad here in, uh, in California, uh, as a communications technician. So I do maintain the radio side of, uh, of a detector. But, uh, you know, in my involvement up in the uh, Paris uh, area with the uh, Southern California Railway Museum, Obviously, we try to represent uh, railroad history as, as accurately as we can, and that includes a lot of technology pieces, uh, such as, uh, you know, train to wayside control for our light rail vehicles, our signaling system, our two-way radio system, and now here we've, uh, we've located, uh, actually hidden away on our property, a Harman Industries Model 46 uh, uh, talker system, which is a very simple logic-based uh, defect detector that takes uh, inputs um, from the wayside and makes uh, announcements based on what it receives. So on the green lead here is uh, what would be my uh, dragging equipment sensor, the paddles, and my track circuit would be on the yellow uh, uh, lead here. So if I open the track circuit, then right now the detector believes that there's a train coming and in the uh, in the circuit and if i close it santa fe railroad mile post one one three zero point nine south track no defect there you go but if i open the track circuit and then simulate santa fe railroad mile some post one dragging one equipment three inputs, zero point nine you south immediately track. get you have a defect and then, uh, so it immediately announces that you have a defect, and then when the train leaves the circuit... Santa Fe Railroad, mile post 1130.9 south track, system failure. Well, we get a system Santa failure. Santa Fe Railroad, That's mile not good. post 1130.9 south track. System failure. Well, that's what happens if you screw up the inputs like I did, but we'll try again. We'll open the track circuit. We'll add a piece of dragging equipment Santa in Bay there. Railroad, mile post one, one, three, zero, point and nine, then you close the track circuit. Track. You have a defect. Santa Fe Railroad, mile post one, one, three, zero, point nine, south track. You have dragging equipment. There you Santa go. Santa Fe Railroad, mile post one, one, three, zero, point nine, south track. You have dragging equipment. So this is a, a, a pretty simple unit. It's uh, It was manufactured by Harman Industries in 1988. We'll take a look inside here. Uh, it's, it's very, very simple. Essentially, inside the unit here, we've got... Um, a power supply card here. We've got uh, memory storage uh, on this side, which, as you can see, it's all uh, UV EEPROM based. And uh, the uh, program is stored on a uh, on an EEPROM there. You've got a RAM chip below that, some support logic. You can use these, uh, uh, I won't call them thumb wheels, but these uh, rotary selectors to... Uh, dial in your mile post number and I don't know what uh, uh, these diff switches do quite yet. I've got some prints uh, courtesy of Don with STS that uh, he provided that actually helped me get this thing uh, powered up and working. So this uh, this may actually end up back on the wayside as a uh, you know a detector for the yard. It, it, uh, it appears that based on the prints it's uh, capable of uh, at least dragging equipment, wide load, high load, and then you got your approach, which is your track circuit. But uh, for simple dragging equipment, this would be a uh, definitely a usable thing. The unfortunate thing is that uh, these uh, UV EEPROMs uh, here that are programmed with the speech information are uh, pretty much not going to ever get changed. You can't change the reporting mark or site ID on this without having the uh, report, uh, recording equipment and uh, knowing uh, which chips to burn it into and at what addresses. So 
while we can burn uh, EEPROMs here at the uh, at the sh uh, shop here at the house, this is the house shop that we're at, by the way. The railway shop looks a little different, but uh, that's our uh, that's our Santa Fe Railroad Harmon Model 46 um, uh, defect detector. Again, a really simple unit. You can see here on the label it was manufactured five of 88, and uh, it's uh, part of the uh, West Coast operation, so it's a WCO 46, and. Uh, there you go. So, a little bit of 1980s defect detector technology. Uh, this has the same speech, if you're interested in knowing a little of the history. This has the same uh, male voice on it that the Harman uh, WCO-34s and WCO-75S and, and things like that have on it. Um, the museum owns a, uh, a 75S from the Union Pacific uh, that identifies as UP detector, and it uh, it's in the same voice. So... This is the, uh, the Harman Industries, or Harman Electronics, depending on which label you read. Harman Electronics there, Harman Industries there. Uh, real simple, easy to work with uh, defect detector. Uh, there's interface on here for a, uh, if you look at the prints here, for uh, two radios, if you want to broadcast on two channels. There's some other uh, um, options that you can interface here. There's... Um, all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to bore you with the the uh, the details, but there you go. There is a uh, a vintage 1988 Harman uh, defect detector. Uh, this is not a hot box capable unit, uh, as far as I can tell. In looking at the uh, in looking at the uh, prints there's no there's no option for hot box on this so this was just uh, just a, just meant to be a, a simple easy to install easy to configure and obviously very easy to maintain uh, uh, defect detector Santa Fe Railroad milepost one one three zero point nine south track no defects